YouTube Topaz Jates back with another album review and this time we're going in on this Willow Smith Audiplicus in which I know I'm mispronouncing the shit out of that but you get the fucking point. And what's interesting about that title is that that's pretty much an ancient extinct predecessor to human race as we see it right now in which that tells us a few things about this album. What Willow is really trying to say here is this is the beginning of her evolution in which she's going to continue to evolve, continue to be much more and such. But my issue with Willow Smith isn't really even with Willow Smith, it's with Rock Motherfucking Nation because they fucked her all the way over and such, man, if they were going to make her into a success in this damn industry. Because let's go back to 2010 when she released that damn Whip My Hair as a 10 year old. She could have easily have been the biggest damn child musician in all of the fucking world. That's like a slam dunk giving it to somebody and they fucking airball it. That's exactly what Rock Nation did. And even though I'm not huge on child musicians and such because one, you get taken advantage of, and two, that stigma of being a super big child musician, it hangs with you forever as Bow Wow. He will always be forever known as little fucking Bow Wow. But when you get the opportunity to get that type of money, being the biggest child musician there is, you take that shit, you run with it, but yet Rock Nation fucked it up. Basically after that smash hit that went fucking platinum as a single and such, what did they do? They dropped maybe two, three other singles and now we just get a surprise motherfucking album. No promotion, no nothing. And this album starts off feeling like a little bit of the alternative type music that her brother Jaden has been doing and completely failing at. But then it evolves and you get to see that the record labels are trying to make her into the next damn Rihanna. They're getting her to pronounce and do songs exactly like Rihanna would do as if she's from the fucking Barbados and she's not. If she's ever going to get a super successful career in the music industry now, it's going to have to skip past all of this childhood shit and she's going to have to be an adult and shit with the music in years from now man just because rock nation fucked her over just like how they did j electronica by not releasing a motherfucking thing now but there are a few joints on here that were cool even though they sounded like rihanna tracks that idk marceline to star and that wait a minute by far the best song on this entire project, man. But ultimately, very disappointing to see someone with such potential of mass success at a very young age to have that shit dwindled by poor motherfucking business practices of this record label. Overall, I give this album, man, a 5 out of 10. When I would say, go ahead, peep it out just because. But this concludes today's review. But now we're going to jump to a brief instrumental from underground producer Lazy Rider Beats. Then we're going to jump into the news. Then we're going to jump into an article from DownloadPaz.com. So did you guys hear about Meek Mill, allegedly, giving his parole officers and shit water and claiming that it was because of his damn protein shakes and that he drank a whole lot of damn water that the piss didn't come out as piss and therefore he may be going back to fucking jail like dude that was fucking stupid there's there's nothing much more you can say about that but anyway on to today's article from downloadpass.com and today's article is about the cost of doing shitty work because this is something that the music industry is learning the motherfucking hard way that I wish you guys would learn from and shit. Just because you can release shitty music and then mass promote it and people will end up buying it because of that doesn't mean that you should as the music industry has been fucking doing. Because there's always a cost that's going to come back on you. And the cost that the music industry is feeling is that people just don't buy their shit like that no more because they're too used to it being fucking too. All they had to do was to provide good music to individual fans and shit, but instead, they let the business cloud the vision that this music industry is about good music as well as business. They honestly think that it's all business and the music can come fucking later with promotion. A very costly mistake that they would have been eliminated and shit if they didn't already steal all of the royalties and masters from all of the previous fucking generations. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. 
And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.